Hey everybody, this is Jenny from Clayton Homes in New Braunfels, Texas. I tried to do a live video for you all of this house. Uh, the weather is not cooperating. If you're anywhere near here or just getting those winter weather storms, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded as YouTube video for you guys. But I wanted to make sure and share with you guys the newest house that is coming in ready for completion at the Mesquite Ranch subdivision here in New Braunfels, Texas. This is a house called the Tahoe. Now I'm going to walk outside for a sec because I really want you guys to see the outside of this. It is super, super cute. I love the colors that we did on this house. Um, and then we'll come back on inside. But just to give you a real brief rundown, this is a three bedroom, two bath home, 1,680 square foot livable heated space. Uh, really cool features. You'll see these as I go through, but granite countertops, walk-in ceramic tiled shower. Uh, big back covered deck. I'll show you guys that as well. And this is in the Mesquite Ranch subdivision. So what that means is a little higher in finishes. We have 150 foot plus long concrete driveways. You have a 30 by 30 metal shed building with 10 foot sidewalls and multiple doors and windows. Um, and then the home itself on a full acre of land out here in New Braunfels, Texas in the Comal ISD. So just to give you that rundown. Now, when I go outside, it's windy. You may not be able to hear me, but again, I want you to see this. I'm going to try and talk above the wind, and then we'll come back in and look at the house. So bear with me. They're not finished in construction yet. This will have a black rail entry, similar to the home you see here. So a beautiful little finish when it's done. But all I have so far, they just poured this concrete. I haven't done the dirt work yet. There's another one, just to give you ideas. And there's other porches and things we can obviously do. Now, I'm sitting at an angle, so you can't run how far apart these homes are, but there's really a good amount of space between houses. And then you've got a really nice deep yard that goes way back, and I'll show you that as well. Just to give you a quick view, we'll get back inside so you can hear me better. But this is the house. This is the Tahoe. Love the colors. It's got true cedar trim on it. Big, long driveway coming in. Construction will be finished up in just a short time. I'll run you guys back here so you can see the shop building really fast. Nice sidewalk to the front and the back. Here's that covered deck. Again, we're a little rainy and muddy, so it's not clean yet, but just to give you an idea, nice big covered porch. And you've got this huge 30 by 30 shop building that's part of the purchase. Front and back roll up doors, windows throughout. You've got a pass through door as well. So just really, really nice setup. And again, 10 foot sidewalls, so really nice height in here. Great amount of storage space. This yard goes all the way back to the black landscape fiber that you see there. So full acre. It does not come fenced, but you'll see multiple different types of fencing that are out here in the back where customers have moved in, neighbors have moved in, and are putting up what they choose. We do have a HOA out here, but it's what's called a non-restrictive HOA. So some very light restrictions as far as the type of fencing in the back. You can do just about any type of fencing you choose, privacy or otherwise. If you choose to fence in the front, it needs to be an open view fence on the front. They're just now getting gutters and stuff put on this as well. So I'll walk you guys in here. Look at this great farmhouse door right here at the entry. Beautiful farmhouse door. And this is a really unique floor plan. So when you walk in, you've got a wall right in front of you, but that's a perfect spot for family photos. If you have a sofa table, a greeting area, that type of thing. And it opens right out into a nice open floor plan. Fantastic kitchen space, lots of light. Black granite countertops here in the kitchen. Look how beautiful that is. Stainless steel appliance package, ceramic backsplash. This is a ceramic tile, barn scraped wood backsplash. They call this sour wood. And lots of storage. This has a 60-40 undermount split sink. And it's not clean yet either, guys, so bear with me on that again. This is still under construction. But I wanted to get out here and show it to you guys because these homes are selling before we can actually get people out here to even look at them. So I wanted other people to have a shot at this one. So going through the rest of the home real quick, this kitchen has a massive pantry right off the side. Huge walk-in pantry. Actually dips way back with this gorgeous barn door. The pantry, let's see, I'm trying to get you guys a good visual so you can see the whole thing. The pantry literally goes 
from this wall to this wall. It's all of that space inside there, so you just can't see it as well. Back door goes out to the back deck right here. You've got your washer dryer space. You've got a freezer space right here off the kitchen. So really nicely situated. You've got a nice storm door here on the back and then this great porch. And this is a 10 by 18 covered back deck. Again, that is the actual shed building that goes with this lot. And then the yard goes all the way back to the black fiber that you see there. So right right out through the utility room to the backyard. And then this end of the house is the guest end. So this is a split floor plan, which is super popular as well. Beautiful guest bathroom, porcelain sinks, lots of nice storage here in the vanity. The bathrooms are a Formica countertop. This is called Winter Carnival. This is a Wilson Art Formica, so super high quality. Nice space in here. Window again, which is great in a bathroom. Lots of light, natural light. Tub and shower, one piece combination. And then you actually have built in linen storage in this bathroom as well. So just phenomenal use of the space. And then coming out, you've got your two guest rooms down here. And both of these are really good sized rooms. You've basically got 10 and a half by 14 foot guest rooms. And both of these have huge walk-in closets. Did you look here? We did some double hanging and some single hanging in these closets, so they actually really maximize the space, but it's a huge closet to begin with. So really, really nice guest space or kids space. Now these two rooms down here have a standard ceiling light, but they are, you'll see the double and triple switch here, they are actually wired and braced. If you ever want to put a ceiling fan up, you're going to have an easy access to do that. The living room and the master bedroom do already have ceiling fans installed, pre-installed. There's that other big walk-in. I'm going to scoot back so you can see the full size of that closet, guys. Huge walk-in closets in these guest rooms, kids' rooms. And then here at the other end of the house, well, first we got to stop at the living room, don't we? I've kind of missed that. So as you come in the front door, a lot of people, if you don't really truly use a dining table anymore, then you've got this great open space. You can just have a nice, huge feel to the home, but also you can easily fit an eight chair table in this area. It actually fits either direction. You also have an eat at bar here at the kitchen. So great place for bar stools. So if you do have a larger family and you actually need the dining space, great. You're going to have room for that. If you don't, leave it nice and open. And it's just going to make the home feel that much bigger and you're still going to have a place for things, everybody to sit down at. Living room, look at this beautiful tray ceiling. Really nice accents here in the living room. It dips back on this wall, so you've actually got, if you have the sectional, if you have the couch and the love chair, if you have multiple chairs and seating areas, you've got really great space to put everything in this living room. And the light from these windows is fantastic. Now these are Lux windows, guys, which are the dual thermal pane plus low E. All of the homes that we have out here are energy smart certified homes. Actually, you'll see the Ecobee thermostat right there on the wall. So that's your programmable Ecobee thermostat. It's Alexa compatible. You can download it to your phone. Uh, and here at Mesquite Ranch, it is ATT high fiber optic as far as who your uh, accessibility will be through for your internet once you get it hooked up. So really cool stuff. So this is the master bedroom, y'all. The other nice thing we did out here was order these without any carpeting. So you are on an acre. You don't want to bring in all that dirt and grass and seeds and stuff as you're walking around in the yard and enjoying the yard. Really nice big master bedroom. You've actually got 14 and a half feet across this wall, so tons and tons of space. No matter what size bed you have, you're going to have plenty of room for that. Big walk-in closet, and again, you've got dual plus single hanging all the way through this big, huge walk-in closet that's here. And then you all saw the barn door here to the master bath. And this master bath is a real treat. You've got your big soaker tub. This is the Roman tub, which is always my favorite. Ergonomically designed. You see your armrests and things that are built in with the backrest here. You've got this cool little shelf here. So pictures, yay, but guess what? Candles, um, your wine glass. <laughs> There's just really nice uh, thoughtfulness that went into that. So you've got some nice little storage area. Body is tucked there around the corner, and again, nice window, nice bright bathroom, airflow as well, and then you've got this gorgeous shower. 
So this is a 45 by 72 inch ceramic tiled shower with a fiberglass pan and bench. Really nice setup. Your water control is right here as you step in so you don't have to stand underneath that big rain shower head in order to turn your water on. So just a really nice feature there as well. And then this vanity is fantastic also guys. Lots of space, separate vanities, cubbies in between, drawers in between, and a linen stack. So tons and tons of room for storing stuff here. Again, this is the Tahoe at Mesquite Ranch. This floor plan is no longer available to order. So if you say, oh my gosh, Jenny, I love the Tahoe. I cannot get you this house. <laughs> you got to move into Mesquite Ranch. I have this one almost ready. I have another one coming in probably about two weeks behind this one. Um, and then I have one last one coming. Uh, and then that's it for this floor plan. We actually are almost completely sold out at Mesquite Ranch. Right now we have five homes left available. Um, actually, so I don't have three. I'm sorry, I do not have three Tahoes coming. I have two Tahoes coming. I have an Alpine coming. I have a Destin coming. Um, and I can get you more information on those. If you're interested in more information, I will make sure and post in the description for you guys all my contact info. You can always email me, jeni.ware at claytonhomes.com. Back through the house as I go through the rest of this. I will also post for you guys my Facebook um, instant message, Facebook, my sorry, private message link. Uh, you can get hold of me that way. Just let me know what questions you have and what I can help with. Biggest thing is, is if you're looking for something like this, you guys, if you're, if you're anywhere near here, you know what the market is like. This stuff is selling very quickly, so don't hesitate. Let me know what you're interested in. If you need financing, we have several different banks that we work with. They all offer flexible financing options. Uh, they do about any kind of financing out there, so there's all different programs and things that are available. And they're familiar with the area and the products, we can usually make things go a little faster. So big thing is, again, let me know if any interest in this. If you have friends or family, feel free to tag them on the video. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you.